Good afternoon and happy Sunday to all of my fellow Scolders out there. Hope everyone had a wonderful and safe St. Patrick's Day weekend. And welcome back to the Skull and Bolts YouTube channel and the 14th installment of Zaffa Talk. Just a really quick little episode today um, just to go over uh, the end of the Minnesota Wild game that we just watched. But if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel, leaving a like on this video, as well as the latest installment of the Skull and Bolts podcast, which was uploaded just a couple days ago. You know, keep up to date with all of uh, NFL-related news, NHL-related news, especially pertaining to the Vikings and the Chargers and the Wild and the Bruins. And speaking of the Wild, we just finished up a little bit ago the Sunday afternoon matchup. Looking to get back into the win column after a tough loss yesterday against said Bruins, which is my co-host Cactus Joe's favorite team and the number one team in the league. So, you know, even though we were at home, it, it does sting a little to lose a game like that, a very important one. But at the end of the day, it's nothing to, like, you know, sit, sit around and mope about, especially being without some of our guys especially young Kirill Kaprizov and still trying to navigate you know playing without him and the Wild have done very well in his absence so far especially offensively which was kind of surprising to me because I think a lot of us Wild fans were wondering when Kirill went down what was going to happen offensively with the Wild was there going to be anyone to step up to the plate and a lot of us would have probably said Matt Boldy, the young rising star, needs to be that guy. And, hey, he's been doing it, especially today. Coming out at the XL Energy Center, uh, the Minnesota Wild with a 5-3 to victory over the Washington Capitals, which featured a nice hat trick from Matt Boldy today, his second of his career. And he really set the tone for how the day was going to go when he scored his first goal 50 seconds into the game. And then quickly scored his second one, uh, I believe it was less than five minutes into the game. So he really set the tempo, and then he got a nice breakaway in the third period to wrap up the hat trick. Almost got a fourth on the empty netter. He hit the post on an empty netter at the end of the game. Would have been his fourth goal, but regardless, a good victory. It was a very uh, aggressive and physical game today. There was some fighting. There was a lot of pushing and shoving and cross-checking and... You know, I thought the refs did a pretty decent job, actually. Usually in those kind of games, it seems like it's kind of one or the other. I thought it was pretty fair, and it didn't really hurt anyone. And, you know, two of Washington's goals came off the stick of Ovechkin on power plays, both of them early. The second goal he scored was three seconds into the power play, right off the draw. So, you know, the penalties obviously hurt us, but it wasn't, like, overwhelming. It was a fair called game. It was very aggressive, and... I thought Flower played very well today. 33 saves on the day. You know, he, he looked good overall. Especially with the third goal that was given up. A little controversial as far as was there or wasn't there a hand pass. But I think it was too close to really tell. Um, for those who watch the game, you understand what I'm talking about. Can't really show it on the video. But um, it was a very close bang-bang play that originally was waved off. But they went back and changed it to a goal but we elected not to challenge it because with three and a half minutes left and a two goal lead it didn't really feel like it was guaranteed that we would win the challenge and we didn't want to put them back on a power play to establish more momentum so that's how that went with the third goal so overall flower looked good uh, the wild scoring has been very very good lately and matt boldy hell of a game from the kid Way to step up. Uh, Johansson, two assists on the day. Uh, Brandon Duhame had a nice goal. And, you know, the man, the myth, the legend, Ryan Reeves with another goal in this game. I've been having so much fun watching Ryan Reeves play lately. He's, he's, a, he's a gem, an absolute gem. So a very exciting day. And coming off of a, a loss against the number one team in the league, you know, and about to go on uh, the next two on the road with some tough ones. Tuesday is in New Jersey. And then after that, I believe we are in Philadelphia. Philly, yeah. So to get, you know, 
that momentum back on home ice before we head on the road for a couple is big. It's very big, and, you know, we're sitting in second place in the division. We're only one point back at Dallas. Got a two-point cushion right now on Colorado. They are pretty hot. I believe they've won five in a row. So, Wild have to keep the foot on the gas and, you know, keep playing well in the absence of Kirill Kaprizov, and I believe Marcus Foligno is still out as well. We did have uh, Jonas Brodin out there today, so that was good to see him back. So, the Wild, still hot, still playing very well. We'll shake off the loss to Boston, and Tuesday is going to be a big one in New Jersey. Be a huge, huge game to win for us going forward, so... Got about, I think, 12 games left on the schedule in the regular season. So it's make or break time. Got to push hard, get that seeding up. I'd love to take over first place over Dallas, but got to take it one game at a time. Matt Boldy, love to see him stepping up, and hopefully that continues when Carell comes back from the injury and, you know, he can kind of dominate that second line and, you know, maybe we can have a couple studs really – really attacking at the most crucial point of the season. That's all I got for the hockey portion. As far as the Minnesota Vikings and free agency updates, not much going on right now. Uh, we kind of talked about that in the Skull and Bolts podcast. Vikings Twitter is kind of all up in arms right now about the Vikings going after Lamar Jackson. I don't see it. I don't think it's going to happen. It's, it seems it's very torn, too, with the fans. Shocking with Minnesota Vikings Twitter. Half are really excited about, you know, the idea of getting him. The other half don't want him at all, don't want him anywhere near the team. I'm kind of, like, right in the middle. I mean, he's a game-changing talent. But with his injury history and his contract that would be, you know, that it would take to get him, as well as his shortcomings in the playoffs, much like Kirk Cousins. That is a, you know, very valid argument. But for me, it's the injuries. It's really the injuries. Kirk Cousins, he's extremely durable and tough. Doesn't miss games, knock on wood. So, I don't know. I, I can't really put my two cents in because I really don't see it happening. I don't think there's any chance that Lamar Jackson is going to be a Minnesota Viking. So, as far as the free agency talks go, we'll obviously discuss some more at length on the podcast when more news comes out as we prepare for the draft here in a, in a while. But it's it's the early stages of the offseason. There's lots of little things going on behind the scenes. We're just going to have to wait and see. And uh, it's going to be interesting for sure. It's going to be interesting. Still need to, you know, work on signing JJ. We need to extend TJ, in my opinion. And uh, talked about it on the podcast, but shout out to Hitman Harry. Harrison Smith, Vikings legend, taking a significant pay cut. We love him. We already love him, but we love him even more for that. So that's all I got today. Uh, happy Sunday again. Hope you all had a very safe and fun St. Patrick's Day weekend. And as we head up, into the new work week a couple things to look forward to is those two wild games if you're a wild fan this is going to be a very exciting time of the season as we push towards the playoffs and um, a lot more hopeful than we were you know a couple months back so we miss Kirill Kaprizov can't wait to get him back but until then Matt Boldy with the hat trick today absolutely love to see it XL was rocking very exciting and I will see you guys on the next episode of the Skull and Bolts podcast. Don't have a, you know, a real release date on when that'll be. Again, it all kind of just comes down to when we have news to talk about. So stay tuned for that as well as uh, more Zoff Talk episodes, especially pertaining to hockey. As, you know, that those will come out, you know, probably throughout the week. And uh, if you listen to the Skull and Bolts podcast on YouTube and watch our video format show, thank you again subscribe leave a like otherwise if you are a listener on spotify then you probably wouldn't be seeing this i guess so uh but if if you do listen on spotify please consider leaving us a five-star review and following our playlist on there it would mean a lot to us so yes thank you guys uh skull 
don't really have anything for the wild, but Skull Baby, we'll see you all next time. Have a great rest of the day.